What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and today I wanted to talk to you guys about the brand new Explore the World of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee trailer. Now in this trailer there is this one scene in particular I wanted to have a discussion with you guys about and that is this right here. We see the main protagonist trainer, the one that you're going to play as, picking potentially a starter Pokemon. Now we do know from the information that was given from the Pokemon company and Nintendo that we're going to have a partner Pokemon throughout the game. That's going to be Pikachu if you choose Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee if you choose Let's Go Eevee. Now what we don't know is that are we going to be able to choose a Gen 1 starter Pokemon? With this game being based around Pokemon Yellow, a lot of suspicion and obvious clues people are saying no. That, you know, the first Pokemon that Professor Oak is going to give us at the start of the game is going to be your partner Pokemon Pikachu because you can use that partner Pokemon with you in battle. We have scenes with the partner Pokemon running down the arm of the trainer and jumping into battle plenty of times throughout the trailers that we gotten already. So it's kind of clear that the first Pokemon we will receive is that partner Pokemon. Now in this trailer, we do see three Pokeballs here. Now the big question is, are we going to get a starter Pokemon on top of that? Are we going to be able to pick Charmander, Squirtle, or Bulbasaur right out of the gate when you start the game? We've seen at the E3 demo that the person had all three of them already in their party. I doubt that'd be the case because again, it was a demo just to showcase the game to players and obviously giving them a pool of Pokemon to work with inside of that E3 demo kind of makes sense in a demo standpoint of things. But outside of the demo, I don't think that's going to be the case. I don't think that we're going to start the game with Eevee, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. That would be too OP. But I do see them actually giving us a chance to pick a Pokemon. It shows it here in the trailer. We do get a choice. Now, one thing that this can obviously just be off the back, my first theory about what's going Going on here in this trailer is that this is just a cutscene is going to show Professor Oak saying make a choice and then throughout the cutscene you're not going to have control the character is going to walk up and pick either Pikachu or Eevee depending on the version that you have and then we see your rival you know picking the other Pokemon again if you have Pikachu he's probably going to pick Eevee vice versa if you have Eevee he's probably going to pick Pikachu now the question that remains is that what is that third Pokemon I've seen a lot of people suspecting that that third Pokemon maybe a Pokemon belonging to Professor Oak. We do know that in the very first Pokemon games, there was a battle sprite for Professor Oak done, but it was never implemented in the game. We actually never got to battle Professor Oak in the game. We did kind of see that relived in Pokemon Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon when you get to battle. I forget the professor named Cuckoo or whatever the guy name is. We get to battle him throughout the game, which is pretty cool and kind of lives through that vein where we, you know, get to battle the person that's bringing us in to this Pokemon world that's giving us our starter Pokemon that's sending us off in this journey. Professor Oak being an OG will be cool to battle inside of this game and again a, a nod to the original games as well if he's the owner of that third Pokemon whatever Pokemon it is and you know potentially down the line in the story you guys get a battle you get to scrap it and stuff like that I think that would be pretty cool. Another theory of mine is that this third Pokemon right here is actually going to be the gift Pokemon that you could get from Pokemon Go that's going to be a brand new Pokemon to the game during the first Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee trailer that we're going to get a brand new Pokemon in these games that we're going to be able to trade a go and stuff like that. Without clarification, you know, it's a potential that this Pokemon on the desk, the third one, if, you know, one of these Pokemon is Pikachu and one of them is Eevee, that that third Pokemon is that Pokemon that we're going to get as a gift. Maybe later on down the game, probably you got to beat the Elite Four in order to get that Pokemon. Now, again, watching the trailer a little bit more, you do see that Pikachu pops out one of the Pokeballs and from the placement of the desk you could kind of see Pikachu in the middle of the Pokeball he's sitting on this kind of stump I believe it would just say Pikachu's name under it and we do see the Pokeballs in the scene before on the same desk with the same stump under underneath the Pokeball so it is safe to say that Pikachu is going to be in one of these Eevee probably again in one of these balls so that third Pokemon slot is kind of you know up in the air now I've seen people 
people saying, oh, no, this means that we're just going to get Pikachu and then also get a starter Pokemon. And I would kind of scratch my head and say no, because again, back on that first theory I was talking about, it would be really OP to have a starter Pokemon and Pikachu, even though I would love that in the game, getting Charmander from the start and Pikachu, I wouldn't take them off my teams throughout the game. I would love them. But something that Nintendo kind of showed us during their Japanese trailer kind of revealed that maybe we're not going to get these Pokemon like this from the beginning of the game, that we're going to get them more in a traditional sense of Pokemon Yellow, where you actually had to travel throughout the world in order to find them. Because in the Pokemon Japanese trailer, we see a map of Kanto. Now, within this map, there's tons of little secrets and tons of little Easter eggs that I can go over myself that we're going to go over in a letter, later video to kind of deep dive and talk about it and whatnot. But what I want to point out is that the starter Pokemon, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle are at locations originally found in Pokemon Yellow. We see Bulbasaur in Cerulean City. We see Charmander above Nugget Bridge. I forget that route up there, but we see Bulbasaur in there. We see Charmander up there. We see Squirtle above the SNN in that little city right there. I'm forgetting the, the city name with Lechernik with Lieutenant Surge as the gym leader, the Thunder Gym. So I don't think this was done just to, again, put these Pokemon on the map. I think this was done intentionally to kind of give a landscape of the land to, so you could kind of see where you're going to potentially be running into these Pokemon at because some of these Pokemon are spot on identical to where they were in prior generations, but then some of them are just in completely unique locations, which is kind of weird. And again, I want to make a whole separate video talking about this map because there is locations that spark my interest that I want to deep dive in. But guys, let me know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts and what's your, what's your theory on, are we going to get starter Pokemon besides Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee? My answer is no. I think that we're going to just get Pikachu or Eevee, depending on the version you have. And then like Pokemon Yellow, have to pick them up along the way. But again, with three Pokeballs here, are we going to be able to pick another Pokemon besides Pikachu at the start? I've seen a lot of people saying, no, Pikachu is in a different Pokeball. This Pokeball is just for your partner Pokemon. And then potentially you're going to be able to pick a starter out of the three inside of Professor Oak's lab, because that's why there's three Pokeballs there. So I just wanted to do this this video to kind of have that open discussion with you guys. Which one do you think is going to be? Do you think we're going to get the option of choosing the starter Pokemon here, or are we going to be able to pick them up down the road like in Pokemon Yellow? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy and my friend on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one